Greetings! I thought it might be helpful to cover some great fountain pens under $60, since I've already done videos on pens under $25 and $45. But then I thought about that $60 price point. That's a pretty common price zone, right? I mean, for me, it's a brand new video game. For others, it might be a month at the gym, whether you go or not, uh, dinner for two if you don't drink, or a tank of gas. <laughs> anyway, so why not a fountain pen, right? <laughs> There are actually a bunch of great pens for exactly $60 that I'd love to tell you about today. Okay, we're kicking things off with the Conklin Durograph. Now, Conklin's most popular pen not only comes in a bunch of great colors with new ones always on the way, but it's pretty versatile as well. After selecting a color that speaks to you, you now have a pen that takes a standard international converter, easily replaceable, a number six steel nib, also easily replaceable, and it's user-friendly and a tried and tested staple in the $60 zone. One of my favorite pens on this list is the Lamy CP1. Now here you get a metal matte black pen that has some weight to it, but it's super slim, so it's not heavy. If you like a narrow fountain pen, the CP1 is probably the go-to choice regardless of budget. As with most Lamy pens, the nib is super easy to remove and replace, so you get the option of adding a new one. So you get the option to add new life to your fountain pen later down the line by picking up a different size nib. My favorite thing about this pen though is the clip. The stainless steel spring-loaded clip kind of echoes the 2000 a bit, but the CP1 is very much its own thing and it gets overlooked a bit. The Traveler's Company Brass Pen is one of Brian Goulet's favorites. For him, he loves not having to worry about it. It's unobtrusive in the pocket, cargo short pockets in his case, and is constructed well enough that you can put it through some abuse. When it's capped, it's super small, but when you post it, the pen becomes more or less full size and writes like a charm. Now, since it's a compact pen, you will be limited to using cartridges, but for its application, I think that makes sense. It's a very, very utilitarian pen. However, I will say that I don't think it's sacrificing form for function. The capping and posting is really well designed and engineered with an ultra satisfying action. One of the most fun ways to spend $60 on a fountain pen would be to pick up a vacuum filler. The Twisby Vac Mini is a great choice for a few reasons. You get the heavy duty ink capacity of an internal filling pen while also getting a fairly compact one. Using a vacuum filling fountain pen is fun and practical. So it's a great choice in the magical land of 60 bucks. But wait, there's more. My favorite thing about this pen is that it works amazingly well with Twisby's VAC20A inkwell. You can fill the VAC Mini from a bottle or sample, sure, but the inkwell actually allows you to thread the pen onto the opening, flip it upside down, and then goosh, you get that reservoir totally full and you feel like your entire life has been leading toward that singular victory. Nothing can stop you now. The Pilot Prera is well known for the satisfying sound and feel of the cap. I don't disagree. It's a beautiful thing. It's a great pen though. It caps well, yes, but it writes like a charm and has a unique assortment of color accented demonstrator options if you're just into the whole like hint of color thing. There are other fountain pens, Pilot, that have the same nib as the Prera, it's a steel nib, but this one definitely is the most well-made and detailed. The fact that Pilot does have this same nib on lower price pens means that you can grab a pen like the Pilot Kakuno, for example, less than 14 bucks, and you can take that nib for your Prera in fact, $14 is pretty affordable for a spare nib. It's like getting a nib for your Prera that comes with a pen attached to it. Finally, I wanted to take a moment to mention the Caveco Lilliput in green. Now, up until this version, the Wii Lilliput has only been available in copper, $110, and fire blue, $170. But now, it's being made available as a limited edition in aluminum for just 60 bucks. I almost didn't mention it because it is a limited edition, but I had to. This is a steal compared to the other two, and it's such a fun pen in every version. The Lilliput is a fantastic pocket pen that can go anywhere, and in this version, the lightweight aluminum, it feels like nothing at all. I can't think of a better travel pen. Now, it's cartridge only, but again, cartridges are the more travel-friendly ink method anyway, so I think that's just dandy. And that's my list. 
all of these pens right now anyway are priced right at $60 other than the Prera and the Traveler's pen. They're a few dollars less. Uh, if you don't want any of these, you could also go back to the less than $25 list and buy two of those as well. That's, that's fine. But I think that this $60 realm is full of awesome options for you. So I hope that you'll go and uh, take some time to head over to GoulayPens.com and learn uh, more about one of these great pound pens. And if you'd like to get a sense of how big some of these are, like the Itsy Bitsy Caveco Lilliput, you can use our Pen Plaza comparison tool to see it compared to another pen that you're more familiar with. Spoiler alert, it's tiny. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please do have fun and ride on.